good morning friends welcome to my channel today i am going to visit a beautiful and ancient temple the temple is located in mahabaleshwar so i am going towards the mahabaleshwar the name of the temple is krishna bai temple in mahabaleshwar there are many famous temples like panchaganga temple mahabaleshwar temple atibaleshwar temple and this krishna bai temple is hidden gem among them so let us explore this temple so i have come to krishna bai temple this temple is of hemadpanti style was built in 12th century by yadava rulers this temple was constructed at the verge of the cliff facing toward krishna river valley when you come to this temple the very first thing you see here captivating and beautiful view of krishna river valley this temple is of bhumija type of temple architecture unlike other temple architecture from yadava era this temple consists of two main parts one is court ad which is constructed on 10 pillars and 18 pilasters and other is the garbagruha or sanctum santorum this temple is 12th century temple and basically it was dedicated to lord krishna there was a krishna idol inside the temple according to the local narration the idol was stolen and was replaced with the shivalinga another story is that if you see panchaganga temple in mahabaleshwar it's a hardly 300 meter away from this temple there is a conversion of seven river out of which krishna river is also mentioned there krishna river disappears from that point and reappears here and it is also called the birthplace of the krishna river we can see the stone carved idol of nandi at the entrance of this temple but the placement of this nandi idol is unique because the alignment between nandi and the shivalingam placed into the garbagruha is perfectly aligned one can see shivalingam from the back of the nandi idol clearly it is in line like i mentioned earlier the court ad of the temple was constructed on 10 pillars and 18 pilasters the pillars are square in shape and having intricate carving done on it so most of the prominent carvings here i noticed are carvings of whales whale well means a mystic animal having rest of the body of human and face of animals as i mentioned earlier that the courtyard of this temple is constructed by 10 pillars and 18 pilasters and this comprises of colonnade space the colonnade space of this temple is very beautiful and at the ceiling of the colonnade space there are beautiful carvings which we are going to explain next here it is a carving in the ceiling of the colonnade space it shows the lotus flower in center and covered with the 14 nagas or serpents the carving is showing that there is a lotus flower this is a lotus flower here and lotus flower is surrounded by the snakes or cobras or nagas so there are 14 to 15 nagas they are actually covering up this lotus flower so what i understand that this lotus flower signifies something very important and it is guarded by the these guardians they are nagas or snakes 
here is another carving in the ceiling and it is called some sort of illusionistic or deceptive carving if you notice this carving which i observed in the ceiling is of seven uh, six sadhus this one this second third this damage is fourth fifth and sixth these are the six sadhus and what they are doing they are holding the hair of other sadhus or each others so this sadhu or hermit is holding here here if you see of this sadhu and he is holding of another one so it's a sort of illusion is shown here and like this there are many carvings in the ceiling in this temple so what is the purpose of these carvings so what i understand is when there is a illusion displayed in any temple so the temple is supposed to be the mystic temple there might have been some mysteries or mysterious things inside the temple and because of that only the craftsman or architecture wanted to show the or give the hint through these carvings we get to see another carving in the ceiling and this carving is known as four nagas with the lotus flower because here you can see in the center there is a lotus flower and at the corner there are nagas so there are four nagas or serpents this one second third and fourth and they are at the corner and if you see this lotus flower it has eight petals this one two three four five six seven and eight now what this carving signifies this carving signifies that these are the guardians that means they are protecting something this naga devatas they are carved in this carving that means they are nagas naga devatas and they are at four corners of this lotus flower and they are watching something they are keeping watch or eye and they are protecting this lotus flower so likewise i mentioned earlier if naga devatas are carved or if depicted into the temple or carving that means they are protecting something very important so here is another carving the carving depicts or shows illusion so what sort of this illusion is if you notice here there are three fishes but the common thing among them is they have a common head if you notice here in center is a head of the fish and it is common among these three fishes so if you hide any two fishes the body of any two fishes you will see one complete fish if you hide this one and this one then you can see this complete fish here so this is what a sort of illusion in this temple all across the colonnade space i have observed the carvings of the lotus flower and naga devatas so uh, i think there might be something hidden here which actually directing us towards the lotus flower and lotus flower is supposed to be the important thing for this temple and i think there might be some hidden message given through this lotus flower carvings surrounded by nagas protecting it and might be the answer is in sanctum sanctorum 
the krishna bai temple is supposed to be the birthplace of the krishna river here you can see the origin of the krishna river and it is through the mouth of the cow there is a stone car cow here you can see in this video and the water is flowing from that and is accumulated into the pond in this temple we get to see small or big carvings of the nagas or serpents here i got to see very beautiful and significant carving of nagadevata the carving or statue is situated at the back of the garbhagruha on the exterior wall and here is a picture of the statue so this statue is purely of nagadevata because if you look at the statue you will see the carving of the serpent at the top this one below that there is a carving which is having upper body part of deity having four hands 1 2 3 4 and the lower body part is shown as a serpent so the architecture wanted to tell us that the nagadevatas can transform from serpent to the human beings or to its his original form of deity and they are invisible protector that means they can ch change the shape so here in this temple the significant of this statue is that this site is protected by nagadevatas and they are the guardian of this temple and hence the sculpture or carving of nagadevata is placed into this temple here uh, in this temple also i got to see the gomukha if you look at the picture here i have taken is of the gomukh here is a gomukh and above the gomukh there is a carving of garuda so now in any shiva temple where the lingam is placed there is a abhishek that means there is a pot of water above the shiva lingam and continuous flow of the water is being actual poured on to the shiva lingam that is called abhisheka and to take out that abhisheka water from the temple there is a provision and the water has to be taken from the north direction in ancient india and in ancient temples there used to be gomukha or makarmukha gomukha means what the outlet or spout of the water to be taken out is made in the form of cow mouth like this if you look at this here is a stone car cow is placed at the outlet of the water as a spout and the water will come out from the cow mouth so that is called gomukha and also there used to be makarmukha that means instead of the cow there used to be the figurine of fish from the mouth of the fish the water abhisheka water used to be taken out so here this gomukha is buried and i think that asi people might be digging up and they have found this gomukha here but very interestingly i found this carving or sculpture of garuda if you look at this sculpture the garuda is shown as anthropomorphic form that means 
is having a human form human body and the wings are open these are the wings and they are open and is in pledging position so garuda is a divine entity or celestial body or a deity because in hindu puranas and vedas many times there is a mention of the garuda so garuda is also supposed to be the vehicle mount of the lord vishnu and personified as a courage so here in this temple this sculpture is placed above the gomukha and i think as i mentioned earlier earlier this temple was dedicated to lord vishnu or krishna as per the folklore this idol was stolen and then shivlingam was placed so this sculpture of garuda signifies the same because garuda and lord vishnu or krishna are supposed to be together coming to the garbhagruha or sanctum sanctorum we get to see a very beautiful shivalingam and because we do not have a permission to take photo of the garbhagruha so i have taken this photo from the public sources or from the internet and here in this garbhagruha there is a nucleus of the temple that is shivalingam and this shivalingam is placed below the floor 300 mm this is what the floor and 300 below this floor is pit this is a pit of the shivalingam or the foundation of the shivalingam and if you notice the feet of the shivalingam we will find that the carvings of nagas here you see the carving of nagas these are 108 carving of the naga devtas and there are two rows this one and this another so 108 108 of two rows and above that you see again the two garlands of the rudraksha these are the rudrakshas and they are depicted in the form of the garland and again these are 108 rudraksha in one garland and friends then coming to our important point here is a lotus flower if you see you will find the petals of the lotus flower and above that this shivalingam is placed so here is the shivalingam so what i wanted to mention is that nagadevtas carvings of the nagadevtas are all across the temple carving of lotus flower is all across the temple and also the carving it is shown in the carving the lotus flower is protected by the nagadevtas and friends this is the lotus flower on which shivalingam is placed so that means the lotus flower signifies the shivalingam and also here we get to see the carvings of nagas or serpents who are protecting this shivalingam here since this temple is very old so it might have gone through many restorations the latest restoration might have taken place in 17th century because the shikhara or vimana or the top of the temple is restored and it is also mentioned that the king of ratnagiri restored this temple in 1888 
this is what all about krishna bai temple it is a really hidden gem in mahabaleshwar do visit this temple do like my videos and share it to your friends